<laughs> Scott from Dummies here. We're, we're, every time angry. we're going to try and start with a stop, a still image of Can one of the things. Can we do that one with what are the still images from the, uh, the intro? intro there? Yeah, figure out hey, what we do. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Why can't I have a drink? Happy Thursday. I know. I, do. I just realized when we were going live that I I'm ready. We screwed all ourselves. My Who's we're ready? Screwed. I'm ready. I'm ready. Cheers. You guys Cheers. Suck. Anyway, happy Thursday, guys. Thanks for joining tonight. Let me get the chat open. Hopefully, everything's good. Everything AV is good. You can hear us okay. Is good show there? online. Oh, there it is. Good show lined up for you guys tonight. We got something fun to go through. I think everybody's enjoying these kind of lineup rundowns. Yeah, so I enjoy We're going to get into that. Um, Want to say hey to everybody out there. Find out who's online before we get into a podcast recording. That's right. right. Yep, yep. So um, who's online? Well, here we go. Let's check it out. Let's scroll back up. Oh, by the way, game. did you see we had a new king today on the first? Poor Zach got trumped by Steve A. What? Uh, what? Steve A was in first? All right, so well, did you go. give him extra heads up? Though? No, shut up, Al. Just, oh. just, just. No. <laughs> keep that. KB, <laughs> how are you feeling, KB? I hope you're well. Recovering from your fishing trip. <laughs> I want anybody to get the wrong impression. KB's fine. Um, <laughs> Everwin, stuck for work. Alejandro's there. Yeah. And Mal Minion too. So I like the fact that you've got them labeled. Right? I didn't. It's YouTube. They're they're um, I it's YouTube members. It's right. Right. So our our patrons are you know what they stick out. It's like yeah they were all on the pre-show. Yep. <laughs> the dumb trooper, down for us. Zach, <laughs> Everwin, Jimmy. Did we all miss everyone earlier? Um, Wheelhouse Whiskey. Ah, oh, so, like that one. Uh, I'll show that I'm, one. I'm showing it. The hell? You just hit click hide. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, who else? Jimmy T, KB. Richie Z. Seat of Mercy. Who? I don't know, know Seat of Mercy. Seat of Mercy. Seat of Mercy. Yeah. Interesting shootout, but too bad you didn't include well, the Well, we almost did. We no. came really close to the 14. We had it because we thought, you know what? We didn't think we'd have some. You and I went shopping today, and we saw the 12 and the 15. Picked up more than we went out for, to be honest with Obviously. you. Obviously. Now, hey, you got the alert from the, you spent too much on your card. I even told him, as soon as I stuck the card in, I go, Andrew's getting a text message right now. <laughs> so, anyway, I, why I didn't get the carrot, why, in my mind, we didn't get the 14 uh, Caribbean rum is, to me, that, that one's a little bit more of an outlier in this lineup. These, these ones, I mean, obviously this one's the only sherry, you know, heavily sherry finished one, but to me, they they should be a lot more similar. With three twelves, I it, that one just seemed like it was a little bit off of the course. It could have, it would have fit in here and would have been fine. But I, I get you. You, I, you know what? You got to cut it off somewhere. Got to walk home after the show. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's gonna be fine. Yep. <laughs> so who else we have on? Derek is on. Derek. I saw Beckman. Justin O asked if he should be green too. I yeah, think the, the green is if you're a YouTube. Bobby it's H. not Patreon, it's, it's YouTube membership. YouTube oh, membership. Yeah, it gives you access to the icons it's, and the yeah. cheers and different things. Hoagie's on. Hoagie. Oh, excellent. Mark What's going on, Trooper. Mr. Germany? Um, How are you doing, buddy? Um, From the capital. Nocturnal. Of <laughs> hey, you guys see Tamara? Kindness, community, Tamar's creativity. On. Is Tamara on? Is Tamara? Mm -hmm. Oh, Tamara is on. Hang on, wait. There's see, Nigel. Nigel see, Kelly. Really Good day from home. West Australia. No kidding. Wow. Let's go to 11, Nigel. <laughs> Brad Fee says there's a creepy guy hiding in our corner tonight. Oh, <laughs> yes, there is. You want to He's right over there. You want to turn on Molly Cam? We turn the Molly feet. Cam on and you'll see his feet. Let's see if I can get his feet. Here we go. There's his feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> it is kind of creepy. All right. Uh, uh, That's awesome. So, let's oh, oh, hang on, on a second. Wow, Tom. Well, oh, shoot, I'm on. the master distiller on your show. Uh, yeah, that's um. Tom's picking on me. Tonight. We'd like to have that happen. We're gonna see if we can make that happen. We got some stuff in the works, hopefully. But thank you, Tom. So, Tom, if you can help thank us make you, that Tom. happen, I'll send hey. you a bottle right. of honey. Well, Andrew and I, Andrew I'm and I will drink to start you, Tom. Off this one. Cheers, right, Tom. Fine. We'll cheers. Have not have something to drink. Cheers. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. So I started off with uh, a little warm up with that bells that Sean and I opened last week. It's really nice. I That's cannot right. believe I too. This how old bottle. flipping good this old ass bottle of Bell's is. I know. It's really tasty. I'm glad we got a liter. Uh, I don't usually say that about <laughs> like bottom of the barrel blended scotch. I see it's why good, blends are popular back then. It's like then. drinking a, a, a melted version of well, creme brulee thanks yep. to Brad for that. To, to be mm -hmm. honest, 
If you could buy that every day for 15, 20 bucks, oh my God. why would you go get why would you go it? It kind of shows you that the old blends used to be a lot. It's really good stuff, man. More sophisticated. I know I, it's nothing but a lot of time. Love you too, brother. I was going to save some for <laughs> some of our subscribers, but I don't know if it's going to make it. No. Yeah, I, we might I have mean, to pour out a sample or two just to, so somebody else so can validate what we're seeing. Until right? we stop drinking it. <laughs> Here's a half ounce sample. Let right. us know what you think. <laughs> No, the rest is gone. Um, <laughs> uh, ooh, we got more uh, Louisiana. Hello from one. South Louisiana. A brutal kitty. All right. Nice, nice man. I love uh, having new people on. Somebody from Minnesota. Nice. And so, yeah. so Z, all right. Z? I see Scott Teague is saying he's he's got some of that Caribbean cast port. So I know that several of you have Balvenies lined up for tonight. We saw a lot of people. We saw yeah. it out. Um, I'm excited to see what you guys have to say. If you've got the particular bottles that we have, definitely pour something out so you can get, but it, you don't be af afraid to, to give us comments on yeah. something that we don't have, whether it's Pete Week or Caribbean Cask or, or anything. Yeah. Um, and feel free to correct us in the chat. We're gonna try and wing this one very similar to the Art Big Shootout we did a couple weeks ago, I think. Or maybe Shooting, from Shooting from the hip. Shooting from the hip. If you've got some comments or questions, please, you know, at Scott the Dummies us in the chat and we'll get to you as soon as possible. But keep, keep in mind, the two of these we haven't reviewed yet. Right, That's so right. we so. actually still have to review these formally, right? Couple All right. Of the, on the bookends. Um, so, Wheels, I see he's on two. You guys want to kick off uh, podcast, a podcast, of podcast yeah. so huh? we can get into this? All right. Yeah. In three, two, what's up, guys? Hey, guys. guys. It is Scotch for Dummies. Four guys on a Scotch journey to help you with your next Scotch purchase. I am Drew. I'm Sean. I'm Mark. And I am Andrew tonight. Boys, what's just, tonight. <laughs> just tonight. Just tonight. <laughs> tonight on the show, we are doing a Balvenie shootout. Uh, so we have the Balvini 12 year single barrel. We've got the Balvini double wood 12 year, the Ameri the sweet toast of American oak 12 year. New stories. So which, yeah. yep. And yep. that one is the one that we reviewed this week. Correct. And then our final is one that looks like uh, coffee. coffee. One is uh, not like the other. <laughs> the the Balvini uh, single barrel 15 year that sure. is. Uh, done in sherry casks yeah. for 15 years. So th this this Belvini 12 single barrel is bourbon, ex bourbon. Okay. And this is this double wood has bourbon and finished in sherry, and then this is the toasted oak, toasted oak, the toasted the toasted oak. oak. Yep. and then obviously sherry. So you know the the whole point of this is to kind of compare and contrast the. I mean, obviously the new make is the same. It's aged for the same amount of time, so yep. the difference is going to be the caskings. Um, on yep. the first three, the the last one has three extra years and heavily sherried. So that'll give us kind of a contrast to the other three, just as a kind of a point of reference, I guess. So right. Why, why would you say we're doing this? What's what's one of the reasons why we're doing this? Well, before okay, so to answer that question, I think it's to kind of showcase the distillery itself. Mm -hmm. um, it's to to give a, a small lineup. This obviously doesn't represent everything they do. But it's to, to give you a, a pretty decent representation of what they do. It all starts from the same place and showcases what their capabilities are, what you can expect from different maturations, yep. different ages, whatnot. We've done it with two or three other distilleries. Uh -huh. uh, we've all learned from it. I yeah, mean, obviously absolutely. everybody watching and listening is learning, but we're learning as we go as well yep. because it's, it's very interesting to it's do. It's interesting when you do a vertical flight from, from any distillery. Right. Um, right. You, you learn a lot about the whiskeys that they're putting out, some... You know, maybe commonalities, some differences that they're trying to exploit in the in the brand. Uh, and Balvenie puts out a lot of booze. I mean, they bottle a lot of whiskey. Yeah, been around for a long time, not quite as long as some, but 1886 ish. Well, they're definitely uh, a brand so name. So they've been them. around a long time. You you You're, see those yeah. guys, you see Glenn Fiddles, you get the McCallans. I mean, yeah. Balvenie is it, a big. It's player. one of the top five or six yeah. distilleries coming out of Scotland. What about them? Where are they from? What, what's so going on Dufftown, with them? so Heart of Speyside. Um, they've been there for. What 140 years or so okay. doing their thing. They share the same water source with Glenfiddich, um, and and so you get you know that that Speyside influence. So it's a Highland region. You're going to get sweet, uh, floral, uh, sherry influenced usually. So except you know, there's one exception to it, and I think week. you had a bottle of that. Yeah. So they once a, once a year they do a peated run. Um, and that goes in, if you ever get to the UK, that goes in the Smoky Monkey blended malt whiskey. That's right. Oh, so, oh that's true. Which yeah. we have not had yet. I have. They do bottle it as well, though. They bottle yes. Pete Week. Um, we've, yeah. it, it's a different bottling every year, obviously. Yeah. So, so a little subtle changes because of the peat in right. influence. Yeah, and it's more to... of a foresty peat is how I would describe it. Well, I, I was thinking, 
I thought it was I thought it was more campfire floral because no. they use a lot of the they use a Highland hey, Scott. peat. They use a Highland peat for it. It's yeah, but like it a, it's like campfire smoke. It's not. Hmm. It doesn't taste coastal, and it doesn't taste anything like. Right, Correct. like Highland That's Park. Sure. It doesn't have those those lavender and heather mm. kind of influences. To me, it's more like a campfire. Mm. So, but we don't have that tonight. Nope. We've got uh, keep four it, others. Keep free, Two we... of these we have not reviewed. Right. We've not tried. Uh, so that'll be interesting as well. Shooting from the hip. As right. It were. So we're not we're. We'll probably rank them by our personalities, sure. what we, but that's not the goal not of this. This isn't to say one's better than the other. We're trying to do a compare and contrast, like you said. So, Talk through everything. We're going to nose it. We're going right. to taste it. We're going to do the finish, the palate, everything about it. Right. So there's, you know, there's two different ways to do this, you guys, and I think people like both ways. We could have done this blind. Mm. Right, and you do it blind, and you're going to come out with a clear winner. Whereas if you do it in this way, it's more of literally spending time on each bottle to talk about what you're getting out of it to give you guys that compare and contrast. So, um, you talked about the two we didn't review. Let's go over the ABVs. We have a 47.8, which is what? That's which is the single barrel 12. So both of the single barrels are 47.8. So the 12 and the 15. And then the Double Wood and the Sweet Toast of American Oak are both 43. Okay. Price-wise, I know we just spent some money today on some of these, but I think you got the, you got the I, can. I, I do. <laughs> I was going to say, you got to pull that receipt out. I told you to save it. Andrew would want it. He's the he bean does. counter of the group, you guys. Somebody's so I think the, the, <laughs> I know the Toasted Oak is on the $80 range. Yes. Um, the Balvini, it must be the, the 15 Sherry was 135 yeah, that sounds about right. Did right. you see that look? <laughs> I still got a plastic handle and the, on this. And the 12 single. Yeah. I, you know how many? I could get a case of handles for that. <laughs> you pull that back in the bottle so I can take you it back, take that back right, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody go get some aluminum foil. So that, that 12 sherry, that better be fantastic. Oh my God. <laughs> He's probably... such a tight ass. All right, so the Balvini single barrel 12-year-old uh, was only oh. like... 80, 86. So, so it's, okay, so the 12 and the toasted are about the same price. What was the double wood? Oh, double wood. I paid yeah, for that one. That was, I think, about the same. That's I mean, probably no, that's no, it's 64. Four, it's like 45, really? 50 really? bucks, I think. Well, I got it. Maybe uh, no, I think it's higher. Now I think it's a $60 bottle. Now. Okay. <laughs> so, so 85, 60, and then 100 and 135. <laughs> but it's three what, years. 134.99 plus tax. And wow. Sure. Where you, where so, you live? If you're As counting. We've got these pre-poured, you guys, uh, in order. We're all drinking from left to right in the same order that you see them. So it's single barrel 12, double wood 12, sweet toast, um, and 15 single. And, and honestly, when you and I were talking this week, too, we, we got a lot, a lot of comments on the new one. Even and right people now. right now are talking about it. And if I think it's probably safe to say, I mean, if you're talking to people that are in the Balvenie at all, it's probably the 14 or the double wood are probably the two most common ones that I hear about. Uh, and most people, they're saying so far, from a review standpoint, we're the only ones really giving the toast a pretty any, good mark. Any love. Right. So we thought, you know what? It Let's is good. It. Let's just make sure it's good. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm thinking we got screwed on our pricing. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> because I, I'm seeing somebody got the 15 uh, sherry for $58. Uh, another one was 110. No, oh, quit looking at that. You, you can, you're going to be fixated on the 12, pricing see, for a while. 12 double wood is 150. Well, that's that's crazy. See, Nick, Nick, I'm with Nick. If 15 Sherry doesn't win this, then something's wrong. Okay, so let's back up. It's not a win or lose. It's, it's, it's more of a compare and contrast, to be honest with you. So, really? um, but but it we're probably calling it a versus. It's, it's a win or lose. Come on, guys. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's a <laughs> personal <laughs> win or lose for each one of us. Let's wow. get let's enough get talking. Let's get into right. this stuff. We also, we may get into, so those of you listening, we may also get into Scotch in the News. If we have time, I hope we do. We we'll will. See. Okay, we'll make so let's start with the single barrel 12. This has not been reviewed. We've not given this a formal review yet. It's fruity. Um, it's the Get lightest the of them, that's for yeah, sure. For color wise, it's makes sense with its finish. I mean, it's just oak, right? Bourbon barrel, yeah. Um, bourbon. 12 year it's bourbon. Lots of citrus, honey. Not a whole lot of barrel influence. I'm getting. Not, I don't get a lot of barrel influence at all. So I mean, this may be the cleanest of, of what Balvini puts out of their stills. I get some pear. Yep. Maybe it's, like some apple blossom. Like it's real light and subtle. Very light. Um, but it's it's nice. It's not an overpowering nose, I would say. Are we just nosing these? Yeah. Let's do a quick nose. That's, that's, yeah, that's really light. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I agree with you. So a nose on the double wood Ooh. 12. Completely wood. different. That double wood is totally <laughs> different. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at you get. So we okay. You need to do a screen capture of your face. Like, <laughs> so 
Well, the I was, Twelve I was Double Wood yeah. oh, has been honey. a very popular bottle of recommendations. Honestly, when I run into somebody that doesn't drink scotch and I'm like, oh, it's a good scotch I can try, you know? Everyday like, drinker. Yeah. You don't want to give them something that's going to cost them out of their pocket and they're going to be upset. You don't want something that's going to offend them like some good old Lafroy going to punch them in the nose. So I always, I usually fall back this and say, try this. But, wow, it's much more of a punch in the face than that single so, well, so punch in the face is, I don't know if that's our term. It's almost like it's, it's, it's got profile. depth. It's got some character. I'm getting more honey in it. Um, it, it punch in the face. I, it's not a bad punch though. I get it's very I get gingerbread. It, I get the honey. Yeah, I but it's got like yeah. a caramel. Yeah, that second barreling really brought brought the there, sweetness. There is a hint of the 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 the, the flower in in this. I mean, one it's from got that European oak sherry, floral. but it's not it's so, not as light as the no. other, and it's all the barrel. Yeah, this you know? has definitely got the the wood influence now, in it. Now, is there? Is, do you smell the? Does it smell similar to to the twelve? The first one? I mean, are you are you pulling no. some? some well, well, there's a similar the floral. Well, that, that's what I'm trying to get to. Oh, really? One yeah. of the things I'm really looking forward to here is we should be able to nose and taste Balvini in all these. I would say the nose is a hint of it, but there's definitely more wood influence. I would expect, probably to your point, maybe in the in the palate we would get a little yeah, bit more we'll Balvini see. influence okay. on that. So the American oak doesn't have a nose. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's, oh, it's I smell glassware. Yeah, it's deeply disappointing. Did we give it that? Yeah, but the, did we the, talk the, about the palette comes home run. Yeah, if I remember correctly. It's deeply. Wow, that's really interesting. Tom wants you to your glass, Mark. Boy, it's who doesn't? It's really mild. I'll get there, Tom. But I, interestingly enough, I still have the same kind of chain of floral going on in it. That's the one thing that stands out to me. The, the, the whole herbal is about the same. So going back to the single barrel 12 now, after the, first, the other two, I do get much more of a wood influence. It's not in a, in a vanilla note like you know oak tends to do, but it, it's definitely woody. In which one? The the single barrel twelve. Oh, hello there. Okay, the toasted now is coming out of the nose. <laughs> you got to give it a second because you because you just burned out your your nose on the other ones. You know we should be giving Brad a couple of these at least to let him. Oh sure. Go with us. Did you did you get to the fifteen yet? I haven't no. yet. No, I'm trying to wait for this. I'm not going to influence <laughs> your. So the toast is, is such a light nose. Where are you at? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to get. Okay, so way down in there is a real light, subtle cherry note. Maybe it's a light honey, maybe. Of course, maybe it's just because I extracted the, the honey. The toast? Yeah, but I mean, it's you, you dang near have to like snort liquid. Yeah. <laughs> to, to me, it's... You, here, let me pour some, It's like a neti pot. <laughs> it, it opens up, though. What's getting... But here's my thing. No. I don't want to have to hunt for it that hard. No, just, you shouldn't have. Now, if you're paying eighty dollars for a bottle, you shouldn't have to fight that hard for a nose on it. Boy, I love the color on that fifteen. I mean, it's got a little bit of a perfume, mm. but it's like old people perfume. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's not something that you want to go buy. No. And just, so, uh, one hundred percent pure mustard says I prefer the fifteen single barrel sherry, which we have here, over the fi seventeen double wood and the twenty one port wood. Um, and I honestly, after nosing the 15, think that it might have been a better comparison with those two than these other three, to be honest with you. Yep. Uh, it does stand out. Oh, and, yeah. It's and better. it stands out as, I mean, and hello can, lover, right? Nose alone, they're all eight It's beauty, got raisins so. and plum and some of those deep gingerbread notes. It's, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I can't wait to kind of put it up against the double wood because I, I think that all right. that'll be the all one. Right. I'm going to try first taste. 15, first taste right? on the uh, 12, single. 12 single. All right, talk to me here. Okay, so light on the nose. Yeah, it's back. That, that sherry, Bears. that 15, green, reset the green, nose here. Green grapes, maybe? Oh. It's spicier than I would have thought. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice. See, it is lots spicy. Of honey pepper. Flavor. There's mm. a sweet quality to it. Like yeah, a, that's why I'm getting honey. Like a clove. Yeah. Almost ginger, too. Yep. Mmm, that's tasty. I almost get a little bit of grapefruit on the end. That's really interesting. That's tasty. I'll, I'll give you that, that, that tangy quality to it. <laughs> um, I can see where you'd get that. 
Okay. One more sip on that. It's it's much bigger than the nose would imply. Mm. That's warm and, and sweet and well rounded. It really is nice. And, and, and nice honey too. I would never get the Lennox cat. Short, I would never get um, forty eight percent ABV on that. No, it, well, it's, it's good to see you, Lennox. I'm it's creamy. sure uh, Thursdays are tough, but man, thanks for stopping by. I haven't seen you in a while. It's There's good. Travis, that it's got sherry. A pretty, um, <laughs> you knew he was going to say that. Pretty long finish too, actually. Mm, that's really nice. That's like a, like custard. I mean, it's like like drinking custard. This just, just kind of coats the palate. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, tasty. I'm gonna say like mid to long finish. Mm. You can chew on it. Tasty. Definitely. Okay, so wasn't what I expected. I'm really looking forward to the review on this now that we've actually tasted it. Yep. Yeah, that's I, I, I like it. I think it opened a little eye here. I, I wasn't quite it. expecting that. That's, that's <laughs> nice. That's no. nice. Um, what's the price point difference between the, the twelve single well, and twelve double? We think that the the the, the single and the uh, toast are the same price, whereas the double is cheaper, like maybe ten dollars. Okay. Or maybe okay. Fifteen. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure. We, we need sure. to know that. Yeah. Let's see what it's at. Oh. The fifteen does have a nice finish. Everyone says. You know, we don't weird? know that yet. So we're, hold on. Hold on. We'll get there. Going All back right. to my nose on the double dollars. wood, it, it almost has kind of a, I hate to say it, but almost like a puke kite smell to it. Yep. I just got that too. I uh, I literally put a bit more funky than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that punch in the face I think that we got. That's that's what I was referring yeah. to. That's why it hit me. I was like, yeah. that's like not what I want to smell really. The the palate is Maybe much <laughs> more mm. put together. Mm-hmm. And I get the gingerbread on the palate. I got it on the nose. I get it on the palate. It's got some honey. Oh. I get black tea. It's got that tannic, mm. like little little bit of bitterness to it. Boy, that depth, that that, that late late roll, the late palate, yep. just like whoa. Because the the initial palate's pretty close. I, I don't. That's not much different than the twelve. But then then that that sherry uh, European oak kicks in, and that's where you get the. Hey oak. Philly. Hey Paul. Good to see you guys. Philly says Scorpio is making second Thursday in a row. Okay, uh, first thing off the off the the taste on the double wood to me, you can tell the difference in the ABV right off the bat, which is weird because it's not that much. You're talking four percent, four point eight percent, and to me, it's night and day. It is. Um, honestly, if it weren't for the finish mm, on that, if, if it weren't for the the sherry finish, I don't know if I'd want any of this. Any of it? I I mean, honestly, Actually, it's, after it's that, not that bad. No, it's not bad, but I'm, I. I didn't get anything until the, the, the late palette, the late finish. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I think Sean's uh, right. It's, it's very, it's more robust. It's richer. It's got a more wood finish, wood yeah, palette. Yeah, I'm that too. Um, okay. But the, to me, I'm, the Who's finish the is short. That? Yeah, that's the comparison? Yeah, that's this the, is the that's one that's a 15. One's a 12 and one's a 15. All right. Um, so that was this so, one. Right? Um, yes. Man, the nose is just completely different on all three of these. I wow. will say, you know, the the 12 double wood is kind of the entry level Balvenie. It's the one you find everywhere. And it's a nice glass. You know, I like I don't have any problem drinking that glass. So you're saying yeah, you that the double wood has sherry influence? On, on the back. The double wood, yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's, it's finished. That's exactly what it is. Or fi the final maturation is in European oak sherry. Okay, so Brad said when he opened this 12 double wood, he just thought it was a jar of honey. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I thought. That, like that was that. my first nose on it. It was honey. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I guess I could say sherry in the finish somewhat. I mean, that's where I'm just, getting the just, black tea and that kind of. Yeah, I'll give you that. The, bit, the bitterness coming coming out. But I, yeah, I, th I think. Well, okay. I, well, I like the the light creaminess. So Great. you know, the the uh, 12 single barrel. Maybe more like a summer, light summer scotch, whereas the double wood is a kind of a more medium road. Mm. Huh. Hi, Bud's back too. Your number one fan is back. All right, Bud, Bud. I haven't seen him forever. I, yeah, I saw one of his uh, baby pictures, looks just like him. Time out. Yeah, we got to say hi to Bud Matthews. Bud, it's good to Cheers, see you, brother. Um, you, brother. Glad you made it on. Hope life is well with you out there with the newborn, but uh, good to see you, brother. Hey, and by the way, your uh, Log of Woolen Appreciation uh, Society on Facebook, that Facebook group, man, it's thumping along, man. You know I mean? I knew, you know how many notices we get about new members wanting to join every day, so mm. 
Good on That's you, good brother. Stuff. Um, okay, so I'm going over to this toast to taste it and find out what happens here. I mean, I'll tell you what. <sighs> Such a light nose. That's a great combination, though, there, the palate. The nose is, I'll give you the nose, it's not much going on, but that palate is so well balanced. I'm learning what Belvini tastes like. I got, wow, my first sip on the American Oak tonight, I don't know if it was just the combination coming off of the double wood, but it was all like Asian spices. It was like mm -hmm. Szechuan peppers and like, <laughs> like weird stuff that I was like, I don't remember tasting that. Maybe I should go back for another sip. And it kind of calmed down, but it's still kind of hanging out there a little bit. So I don't know. It... It tastes somewhat like the other two. Yeah. But it's it's kind of the outlier of the three so far. Because I got hints of the first two in each each other, you know? I mean you get that honey and um, some of that gingerbread going through. The spicy notes to me kind of tied everything together. They're here in the American oak, but they're not quite as prevalent as the other two. I don't get that finish that's like a heavy spice. Yeah. But it, but it does have the characteristics of Balvini there, that so, kind of that floral. But I the first thing I marked on here is melted butter. On the toast? On the toast. Interesting. So if you scrolled up, I don't remember who said it, but somebody made a comment that said, just blend them all together and get it over with, right? <laughs> I wish we had called that out. Because, honestly, that first palette on the sweet toast one, to me, I wrote down, it's the marriage of the first two. It's it peppery that and way. spicy and that, that I was getting off of the first one. I, and not a ton yeah. of spice, but I, it's just, it's definitely got what you're talking about when it, you know, that Szechuan, that, that Asian spice. I don't know if I'm going to say Asian. There's spice. I haven't nailed it down to yeah, I'm getting being. Peppery. Yeah, I don't know if it's But it's not the but, same as the other ones. Yeah, right. So, you know what it feels like to me is that Balvini had some almost 12 year old casts that just were not flavoring up. And so they were really weak. And so I was like, well, let's try to put it in some some virgin oak and see if we can get some flavor out of it. And still sell it as a 12. So, so toast the shit out of them. So they, so they threw it in a barrel, and it they didn't leave it in there long enough. And it didn't pick up enough flavor. It picked up some, but not enough. And that's where we're at. It's kind of what it feels like to me. Now, <laughs> I'm not a master. Um, I'm not even a... Any blender, so I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely, definitely get that buttery note on it, Drew. Uh, I think the second drink really helped it out, and I also think that mm. after the first one, it opened the nose. I go back in there now; I'm finally getting it. I, it's a shame that you didn't but get anything. It's up. not. It, you have to work a little harder than the other two. I, so I have to say, of the go? three, what? Oh no, keep going. If so, if the single barrel twelve what? and the toasted, uh, the sweet toast of American oak twelve oh. are the same price, no, not too far. This isn't even a competition. Wes Jobs. <laughs> One of my worst purchases oh, ever was a 15-year-old Balvini. Our club has scored 370 whiskeys, and it's in the bottom five. Sulfur and like licking a 9-volt battery. Wes Jolly said that about this 15 single barrel. Really? Okay. Well, that was a bad, so, you got a bad barrel. Now here's, yeah, I was just going to say, let's be fair. Oh, wait, wait, he said barrel number. What? He did have barrel number on there. Did he? he? Did. Go back up and tell me the barrel number on that. Because one of the things... Oh, they scored no. 27. So Sorry, didn't. one of the things that very well, I, I'm not doubting you, what nope. happened to you, Wes, but these are single barrels. Um, so was it a bad barrel? Was it corked? I don't know. Um, maybe we're going to have that experience when we finally get to this one. But I, so far on the nose, I don't get any sulfur, and I'm, I'm very sensitive to sulfur. I don't get sulfur. I mean, no. um, so interesting comment. Huh. The, the thing is, I, I just took a, another taste of that. Wow, that's oak, crazy. And that melted butter is... Correct. There, uh, it's right it's there. Absolutely correct. Right, I, I so. So what are the flavor components of not melted butter that you cut? You, that's the toasting from the task. It has task. to be. That's the vanillins and all those kind of things that are coming extra, you know, directly out of that toasted cask. That's what. I mean, it, it's. That. I mean, I, I know I'm kind of cheating because it says toast, but it's it's, oh, it's basically giving me a. Uh, you know, a toast with some serious butter on it. Lots I mean, that's, of butter. Yeah, that's what I'm getting out of it. Well, that's why, that's why they toast them, to get those sweet flavors out of it. Let me get a little Molly cam going okay. on here. Look at that. If she's over there with Brad. Oh, um, uh, hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. <laughs> and some scotch. <laughs> and some scotch. All right, so we're, let's roll over into the 50, 15. So, Sherry. the 15 single barrel. So is, is this 15 years in a, in, in a sherry 15 barrel? 15 years yep. in sherry. Okay, thank you. No finishing. All right.
Hmm. Uh, Wes, I, you know what? I, I almost want to find, get, you know, reach, send me an email, and I'm going to send you a small sample of this one because there, there ain't no sulfur on this one. This one's sweet sherry love. <laughs> yeah. Wow. There's Holy oak, balls. There's oak, That's sherry. <laughs> This one, wow! Like it, I don't it, think they emptied the sherry out. It brings in elements of the first two and just a bigger, bolder way. Um, so I get the ginger. I had gingerbread on the double wood. I get that ginger spice. Um, I've got I've got some other baking spices like little nutmeg, little clove, uh, deep rich figs, oh, like dried fruits, yes. toffee. I mean, it, it's got all of those things going on. Mm. In so, wow. Hey, it wasn't me. Wow. It's cloying, though. Mm -hmm. It's a very dry it is. Jam. It's like a. It's almost like a red wine. Uh, a dry one. I mean, it just like leaves your mouth dry. You get the bitterness, the, the tannins and stuff that come yeah. out. Yeah. Wow. But I can, But if you if you pay attention. <laughs> okay, Tom. So you know I, you I'm got looking at what I've, like. what I've consistently pulled across your throat. So, Balvini, on the palate, you get honey. You get some, some pear... Some sweet, um, maybe some clove. That seems to be kind of their consistent <laughs> flavor. Um, and if you pay attention for it, if you look for it when you drink this, you can taste it at the very initial palate. But then the barrel, the age, the sherry really kind of overwhelms and takes over takes over the really Balvini flavor character. So let me ask the question to the folks on the chat. I know the podcast can't help me on this, but how many... So Wes has spoken up and said that they've reviewed a 15 single barrel. How many other guys out there have, you know, purchased, drank a, a 15 single barrel, and, and what was your experience? Obviously, there's going to be some variety mm -hmm. uh, amongst it because they're all single barrels, right? But that's so nice. Um, this I, this particular one, and let's be let's be clear here. What is this? This is cask number 7648, bottle number 529. Um, this bottle is one of no more than 800 drawn from a single cask. So. Let's just think about this. If, if it's 800, that's a whopping pipe, that's man. A, that's a big ass that's pipe. That's a big ass pork pipe. Um, or, uh, yeah. So it's mm. obviously not the same bottle or barrel, I should say, that Wes was was drinking from. But you know what? Mm. I got, I See, got, and, that, and that's what you risk when you when Balvini chooses to do single casks. Every cask one. is different. I mean, right. Hey, thanks, Zach. Appreciate Man, it, brother. I love you, Zach. Zach. Thank you very much. Thanks I'm going to say that. cheers with that 15. Yep. Yeah, me too. Agreed. Me too. Real house, brother. <laughs> so do we have a favorite? I no, think I we know. do. I don't know. Mm -mm. I, I, I will say this. Let, let me say this. First of all, it's delicious. <laughs> however, I know. however, I feel like it's... Almost sherry concentrate. It's like so sherry. It's really sweet. It, it's it's oh it's overpowering what the Balvini is. And I will also state that it technically doesn't deserve to be in this three because it's completely different right. in that realm. And and that's why I didn't want to get the Caribbean cask, but probably should have left this one out. I think this one belongs in a lineup against the seventeen or the twenty one. Well or maybe even other sherries because this this thing is I have never right. had a ball so Did you read sherry. everyone's comments? So, so no, hang on, time out. We gotta recognize so, yeah, so there's Scott. some great comments coming in. Well, I wanna recognize Scott's super chat. Oh, thank right. you, Scott. Thank you. Scott, Cheers, Scott. Scotch test dummies. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks, Scott. Ooh, what is this? Hang on. Molly, it is early, babe. You are early. You're not getting. All right. So there's a couple of great comments on the 15. What do you got? Everyone here? Yeah. Um, so uh, if you drink the 15 sherry and go back to the double wood, <laughs> wait, it really okay. improves it. It pulls off the bourbon notes. All right. Double and, and one. it does. And then go scroll oh, down. It sure the... does. Holy balls. I got to <laughs> I got to tell you something, so, everyone. Going straight back to the double wood, uh, at the no it kills the nose. The nose is not pleasant on the double wood after the. That's 15. better to me. So Alejandro talks about the 15 single barrel, extremely potent by balance, similar to the Glendronic 18. I would tend to agree with you on that. Whoa, whoa, whoa we're, pop, we're we're rolling up too fast. Um, stuff for works. Uh, 15 SB for me is my favorite Balvenie. It had a lot of sherry character, some ginger and plum, with some of the 15. Yeah, I, I'd agree. There's so much sherry influence here. It does remind you of Glendronic. It's, it's big and bold. Because it's super bold. Ad admittedly, you lose the Balvini character because there's so much sherry in it. 
I don't know about that though. I mean, I still got, <laughs> I still find the same spice notes in at least three of the four that we're drinking tonight. Mm. And I got a lot of the same like black tea and, and honey profile in a lot of them that, that I kind of found throughout, which I mean, black tea to me, I, I kind of, I enjoy it. I like that bitter tannic right, quality sure. on okay. the finish. Um, so, I mean, I can find that in several of these. The The one that stands out to me is as a little bit different is the, the American oak, the toasted American oak one. And it's it's got a different mouthfeel at the end. It's It's got a creaminess to it that the other ones, are, oh, it's just a little different. He's right. oh, we, got, we got the water on this. We're putting so, water on it. Richie, Richie Z, cheers, brother. Thank you, Richie. It's Thank good you to see much. you on the show, man. I we, haven't, been a haven't seen a lot of comments from you lately, and, and, and you used to open a new bottle like every day, it seemed like. Um, so what's been going on with you, man? Reach out to us and let us know what's going on in your world. Um, some more 12. So, yeah, we need to do the water. I'm adding some more 12. I, I'm ready to talk my way through these, but I want to put some water on and see what happens well, and changes. <laughs> we need to move because we're running, running low, a little low on time. Now. Randy, you okay over there? You need anything? Oh, no, good. Okay. So for those of you watching at home, We've got a, a guest in the background, uh, a new neighbor. We wanted to show him what goes on in the house next door to him on Thursday night. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's getting in the scotch, too. So, right. so, so, so we got him the... He we, is a whiskey drinker, though. We poured him the double wood and the 15 sh uh, sherry to, to kind of be able to compare and contrast as well. All right, so I poured some water in each one of these. Yeah, so let me, let, let me give you... Let's, let's do this. Let's go around the horn real quickly. And let's talk through your favorites so far yep. to kind of talk through them. Because I, I I think I'm going to stun you on mine a little bit. I, right. I actually, um, I'll go I'll go least of my favorite. Least is, is, is double wood right now for me. Um, I really? Think, I, I think that, well, with what I have here, okay. Okay. it's not bad. No, okay. The nose is not very great for me. Yep. Okay. But but it's not bad. It's, okay. it's nice and rich. It's creamy. Um, my number three, um, I have the 12 single barrel. I think the single barrel actually is a nice everyday drink. I mean, it has some potency to it. It's, it's a nice, lovely creaminess to it. Um, but my number two right now is the 15. Hmm. And my toast, toasted is my number one right now. And you what do you like about the toasted? I, I really what's, what's like the, the, the creamy the melted, melted butter. butter. All that to so, it is so much better to me. The, the sherry cast feels like someone just punched me with a sherry. Pause, pause the comments because you're going to get some shit here. That's fine. <laughs> I, I'm just you. You know it's coming. That's okay. And, that's what I deserve. And, and that's, no, no, you that's don't deserve here. it. Yeah, well, it well, do. we, we put it out there. Yeah. Thank so, you, Jason. I mean, no. cheers to you. Yes. Yeah. Um, cheers to Jason. Jason. Um, Sorry, podcasters. We're getting some super chats. We're, we're celebrating them. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jason. Jason. All right. So scroll up. There was a comment above that about. Um, mm. hmm. I get the Bel so everyone gets the Belvini character in the Sherry Fifteen. Okay. Um, and that's Ooh. so everyone. If you could put it in the comments. What is the Balbini character? That's what I'm trying to understand you. Because again, for, for those that don't know, I, I am not good at the water no. remembering what Balvini tastes like and what, what Glendronic tastes what? like and what in the, you know whatever the distillery what? tastes like. I can kind of break it down into components and I can do that, but I don't re remember kind of what each each distillery does. And so, give me Balvini character. The funny thing I want to add to his comment though is. If you take it over to peated scotches, he's got that bloodhound memory of the different variations of peat. If I put an Ardbeg, a Lafroy, and a Log of one in front of, uh, of Andrew, you're not gonna miss <laughs> them. Like a, you see what I'm saying? That, yeah. But that's your wheelhouse. That's what you're, you focus on. You're, you're able that, to really that's pull my out crazy the nuances, mind. Yep. right? Um, fair enough. You wanna give your rundown on these before you go into the water like Drew just did? No, nah, man, I'm cool. Okay, so I, I'm, I'll do it, though. Uh, I agree with you on the double wood uh, in fourth place right now. I'll stand by my recommendation of 12 double wood to non-scotch drinkers looking to get into a scotch. It, it's approachable. Sure. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing off-putting. But in this lineup, I think it, it comes in fourth. Um, then I'm going to go to the American... Uh, I'm gonna to go to the American right here as in the third. I enjoy it. It definitely has some subtle nuances that you have to be a little bit more matured in your, your journey to get out. I think once you get them, you'll enjoy them and it's great. I really appreciated the single barrel 12 probably the most. 
and I'm standing this Sherry 15 out on its own because it's not fair amongst these two, these other three. This this 12 single barrel to me really brought out some interesting Scotch nuances, right? So it's like I don't know. It, it to me talking about the the Balvini, every one of these outside of the sherry one because it's you're, it's hard to get over that sherry finish i get at the very late palate i get a little bit of a grapefruit tang and i'm like uh, it's almost like i'm starting to equate that to balvini maybe, maybe. that's the, well maybe because uh, i get the black tea and so i think right. that's I the think same you, right. you got the so, black tea even with the um yeah the it's pattern. there maybe it's yep. just the, but it's hard to find it in this one because this is so floral, whatever that is so i i will do a rating so um, hold on, let me finish on the darn, 15 darn. though. So the, the 15 sherry, I, I'm not ranking it in, in its best way. I will say this, it's a great sherry bomb, this particular cask is, but I, if I were to marry this up against some other sherry bombs that I have, and I have a lot thanks to a, one of the commenters on here, uh, Travis Faircloth. Man, you're really hurting my bank account. Because um, he always points me to these cherry bombs. <laughs> he is so, a bad influencer. <laughs> it, it's, it's a little bit too cloying. It's a little too dry of a finish on me. Um, and it's a little bit of a, a There's nothing up front. I wish it was a little bit more richer and full-bodied up front to, to marry that, that finish that I'm getting. It's not. Up front, it's very light and almost not there. It's very dry. And then I get that cherry finish at the end. It's good. I love it. I, I, I want one on my bar. And even at that price, I, I, exactly I would have one. It. But I don't think it belongs in this lineup with these three. If I, yep. if I had to pick from these three, I would go Single Barrel 12, American Toast Oak, Double Wood 12. All right. We're quickly, Sean, I think that's a great comment. Malty Alti. Exactly what, yeah, Malty Alti. The 15 Sherry is a tannic cherry fruit roll up. That's exactly how I feel about it. It's like a potent punch in your face of sugar and cherry. Mm. And I, I, love, I love that. That's a great <laughs> comment. Fruit roll up. All right. So talk to us. I, I, I'm with you. I think the the 15 you got to kind of set to the side. It is. It's not really fair. It is. It's not a fair comparison. It, it's very good. Um, my least favorite is the American Oak. I. To me, it didn't have the character. I had to fight American to Oak. get the, the the sweet toast. Oh, you did your least favorite. It's my least favorite. I mean, on the nose, you had to like really struggle to get yeah. anything out. On the palate, I mean, it had it had stuff, and I got all the creamy stuff out of it that you got. But to me, it was kind of like making a compound butter, but you hadn't put anything in the butter. You know <laughs> what I mean? And so you had butter. I know and... what you mean, actually. It makes sense to me. I know what that is now. So, so I mean, it had some flavor, but it didn't really have so enough flavor to go with. So is it compound butter? Exactly not. Uh, I made air <laughs> compound butter. Uh, so it's just now butter. I will say when, when, I, when I put some water on it, I think that it brought out a little bit more of that that Balvenie character that the other ones expressed, mm -hmm. and so I kind of actually liked it better with a little bit of water on it. Um, the double wood was my next one, and to me that that kind of brings me home to what I think of when I think of Balvenie because I mean I started with the twelve, sure. a lot of people have. And uh, we've killed a lot of those bottles. Yeah, and nothing wrong with it. Well, I mean, Drew almost killed this bottle sitting at the house. Shush sure, it. Sure. Right? <laughs> had a little help. But... Nobody's judging. I'm just <laughs> pointing out the obvious, right? <laughs> um, it's a good time, but, right? But I think it's a nice bottle, and it's an easy drinker, and it doesn't break the bank. Um, and, and I enjoyed it tonight. I mean, it had a nice nose. It had a nice palate. There wasn't anything off-putting about it. Mm -hmm. it. It didn't, you know, set any records for me. But the one that really surprised me was the 12 single barrel. It's really nice. It's very, I, I very love impressed. the nose. Like the nose was captivating. You just wanted to smell the glass. The palate was very good. It had some depth of character. It was enjoyable. Hoagie hit it on the, on the head right there. <laughs> Hoagie, if this was bottle of cast strength. Oh my gosh. Uh, you're absolutely 100% correct. Smack your mama good. Correct. Smack your mama and, good. and I agree with you. The, the 12 <laughs> single berry is great. It's I, really good. I was kind of, the thing that really caught me off guard was, you know, it's 47.8, right? And, I mean, I'm used to drinking cast strength whiskey. Absolutely. So if it's not 60%, you can go home. And <laughs> Nothing. It, it kind of really caught me off guard because it tasted bigger and bolder and hotter. I mean, it was punching above its weight class. Exactly what That's I was thinking. Right. So, I mean, it was very exactly interesting. Exactly what I was thinking. All right, Andrew, bring us home. All right. So, I, I my favorite is the 15 Sherry. It, it, that, it's my wheelhouse. For a, for a non-peated whiskey, it's got the... the um, the figs, the plums, the um, you know oakiness—that it's just really great. Um, so let's go down from there. 
But I think my number two is probably, I have to go with single barrel because it does have, it. yeah, it's punching above its weight. I, I think it, it, at 80 bucks, it's still an expensive dram, but it- For 12 a year, yeah, it is. It, but it's single barrel. Oh, it is, and it, and it just, it's, re, it's well balanced, especially with water. It really brings out, you know, a little bit of that black tea or the bitterness on the end really comes out with the water. Have we mentioned the cast number and stuff? No, right on the 12, no. we have not. <clears throat> so it's cast number 1710, bottle number 232. Mm. So we need to go see if that liquor store has more of that. So anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know how they, how they distribute it. Uh, my number three, it, it may be the 12 toasted because it has a a creaminess and butteriness that I appreciate. It is not, it's not my wheelhouse. It is not a, um, you know, rich, bold flavor. But the subtlety is really nice in that. Whereas I think with the double wood, the 12 double wood, it's a little bit disjointed to me. It doesn't, it doesn't work as well in, in my palate. Because you get the, 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 essentially the 12 single, and then you throw some sherry in it, and it doesn't, it's like it was just finished and didn't balance as well. So, you know, so I'm going to go number one, 15, 12 single, 12 toasted, 12 double. So in, in all fairness for the podcasters that are listening in, just to reiterate, on our single barrel 15, it's cask number 7648, bottle number 529, of no more than 800 bottles. Big port pipe that was. The 12 single barrel is cask 1710, bottle 232, no more than 300 bottles. So okay. much more of a typical uh, ex bourbon, bourbon, ex -bourbon yeah. barrel, right? So um, now, does that does that help people at home? Can you go out and find that barrel? So Probably I don't not. know with the distribution. That's really tough. And I, now I don't feel kind of as good giving ratings and reviews about it because the the bottle you all buy at home wherever it's, you it's are. It's kind of like ranking SMWS. An SMWS, right. Yeah. So, I mean, not that we don't review those from time to time, but we've we've shied away from reviewing them, so uh, giving them for official right. reviews because it's not... We review them at home, though. We do, <laughs> and, and we love to have Ben on and, and talk about them because, uh, hey, they just had an out turn yesterday. Uh, uh, the so well, it's Hogshead. It's, I mean, it's Hogshead, isn't it? Not, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You said, you port, said port pipe, pipe but oh, it's sherry. It's it's oh yeah, it's okay. Sherry. Yeah, yeah. So it's not port. We know that. <laughs> Good call. I, Good call. I honestly enjoy all of them. I think I think for me personally, the double wood is the least because I think I think you guys are right. The, the, the twelve single barrel is fantastic. It's really delicious. It's. I personally, I, I just taste it again. I, I like what it is, but I my palate, my personality. I really enjoy a toasted dough. Good for I, you. I think it's good. Stand by. Hey, Fifteen though is a whole different class. And I, what I would like to do is take this 15 in the blind compared to some other sherries well, and see what we can do. Because yeah. I'll tell you so what, this sherry is Compare that bomb. to Glendronic 15. That, that is a sherry bomb. So, or Avalor 15. Exactly. Or, 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 but yeah. stand it up against... Let, let me stand revival, that up against maybe? that Revival. Let me stand it up against Allard Ice. Let me st I've got probably well, two 15. dozen. I would love to do a we'll sherry shootout. Some. So you got a sherry shootout. Glendro 15. <laughs> Let's do a sherry shootout next. Oh man, you guys just want all right, to be in so, my so in the yeah, comments <laughs> below, it's all ploy. It's I want you to put through uh, what. It, so if you had a 15 year sherry bomb, what would you recommend to be as part of the sherry 15 shootout? Okay, a sherry 15 shootout. Travis Faircloth, speak now. <laughs> and and, and, and um, be Everwind's, reasonable. Be reasonable on something you can buy. Too, well, right? yeah. So, Everyone to ask so. are is so is the single barrel 12 wood the the single barrel 12 20 dollars <laughs> better than the double wood 12? Yes. Yes. I say it is. I think so. This buy. I say it is. But not, again, mash and drum. Happy birthday. Oh shoot. Happy birthday, Brian. Uh, is Mash and Drum on? Happy birthday, Jason. Hey, he's got a shirt on. I, I almost I, wore his I'm shirt. I'm saying happy birthday to him. I, you know what? I, I had it on. I had, I had it, it on. Earlier. Well, I had it on, and then I went out and worked in the garden, and it was all uh, sweet. So I had to change. I, I guess I went out some earlier. But it was, it was in, in spirit, at least. There's, there's uh, Alejandro. Coming through. Alejandro wants to see Avalor Almanad against Glendro 15. Steven and says Glendro 15. Well, Glendro we can't do Avalor. Why? Because it's the only scotch that gives me a headache. Gives him a headache. <laughs> oh, come on. Someday we know. Tell him to pull product. that skirt down. It's a kilt. I don't know what it is about that bottle. Either, but. Glendro Tam Tamdu. Interesting. So, it, admittedly, Ooh. the 
the Abu Dhabi is a non age, too. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, and that's fine. That's how about, fair. How about Glendro fifteen? Yes. Tamdu fifteen. Do we, I had, have, do we I, have a Tamdu fifteen? I know a guy. You know who? Um, you know who's got a bottle of it? Because I had some last week. What about Mike Hype? What Does about, he really? Yep. What about yeah. that Tam Dew two two five? Is that Sherry? A Tullabardine. Tullabardine. Oh, Tullabardine. Yes, I'm saying. Is no. that, is that no. Sherry? Uh uh Nope. That was a uh, uh, Cabernet. Something weird. Yeah. Yeah. There, was, there, there were three 15. different ones. There was a two two five, two two eight, and two two. Yeah. Five, five, That's not big enough. Yep. Two two eight's a Burgundy. Mm -hmm. Tam Dew fifteen would be a good. I have a twelve. I can't imagine a Tam Dew fifteen. That's we gotta find one. Of those. I, the revival has to be against this one, and then yes. also. So I mean, um, I've got some non-age freaking bombers. No, I, I've got no. an eight-year-old that stand up against. Gotta be a fifteen Honestly, cherry bomb. I think you're eighteen. All so if Scott's still on, Scott Scott knows where we can find fifteen-year-old cherry bombs. West Jolly says an Edredauer single barrel. See, Travis Faircloth right. says you have to keep you the ABV to. close to the shootout. You're right, because I'll tell you what. Correct. I'll get that Kill Karen eight out here, and we'll see nope. what, what it does against that fifteen. That Kill Karen eight will. Freaking smash. Tell you what, just bring the kill care. <laughs> See? Glenn <laughs> Goins. Sean's 15. like, I don't care which yeah, match. Glenn Goins can be good too. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get the big glass. Yes. <laughs> we can find a Glenn Goins. So we're, we're working that, guys. I think that's a really good idea. Like to go Mac forth. 15? Uh, yeah. You know what? Bomb. My problem with Mac 15 is just the price point. For God's sakes, Mac loves their stuff more than I do. Is it more than 135? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. So Lana Lou says. You know what, Lana? I've I've I put on captions I'm before for us. YouTube does a pretty good job of, of wording what we say, but it's kind of interesting to see it sometimes. Like, <laughs> oh, what no. am I saying? I don't want to know, Lana. I don't want to know. Double fifteen. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good too. So, all right. We'll, anyway, we'll we'll figure it out. Yeah. But at the end of the day, guys, this was interesting. Um, I learned something about the Balvenie mm -hmm. line. There, there's definitely a flavor profile to right. them. Right. I want to um, separate this out. And I think, <laughs> I, I think you're absolutely correct. So, might ask a question. Let's go ahead and talk about it for a second. The Balvenie 14 rum cask. How does it fit in there? Now, now technically, we should have just stuck with the 12s. We to be specific. Just, right. We should have stuck with the 12s. Because there's a lot. There's a 17 Balvenie. We, we didn't do it as well. There's a the 15, to, obviously. To me, the 14, the Caribbean cask fits in in that it accentuates the spicy character of the Balvenie because I got some nice spice that, notes there is in here. A spicy and note to me there. it brings out that yeah. that spice a little sure. bit heavier and it accentuates the sweet a little bit more. So I, I think that the rum is actually a really good it does the work well. accentuator well. for yeah. for this particular distillery. Yeah for Balvi the Balvini new make goes well in rum cask. Mm -hmm. So I'm with you Drew. At the end of the day it should have been a twelve lineup. It was. I'm glad we got to 15, though. <laughs> no one's complaining. It's no, here. not at all. But some well, he wallet. Made, it's his wallet, man. Right. Right. It's like on fire. I, I feel <laughs> like this was you. You were like, you know what else we should put in there? This really dark one. 100%. 100% <laughs> it was him. <laughs> It'll go, Drew. What are you talking about? He really about? tried to talk. He, he, he tried. I didn't even let him get like three words out and I shut up. I'm like, no, no, this is coming out. No, no, no. I mean, no. I mean come on, it was, man. There was no decision making. It was like, See, should we get this? Yes. Right. <laughs> there were three more words said You're my with him animal. than if it were you. Because if no. it were you, there weren't three words. We would have got two bottles. <laughs> That's right. He tried to represent Andrew's Thank you. best interest. Thank you. I anyway, so let's um, we do have a few seconds. Let, let's talk about a, some of this scotch in the news. <laughs> Drew, get that mouse out right. and pull this up because there's a couple of fun <clears throat> topics to talk about. I want to see some I'm of the comments when we get on it. Um, so Glenn Farkless, you guys, has produced this new series called the uh, the Padoga series, right? Pagoda, Pagoda, Pagoda series. Pagoda. It's now going to be called the Pagoda series. Pagoda, Pagoda. Pagoda series. Anyway. The partic this one that they have out right now is no, that's not that's not it. The first oh. one they released was the sixty two year old Ruby. The one that they just what? released now is the sixty three year old Sapphire Reserve. So go to one of the <laughs> as other opposed links. to just the regular Sapphire. Yeah. <laughs> so get that one right there. So let me tell you. First of all, the, the <laughs> bottle the bottle that they're putting this in. They're, it's it's hand blown from the best crystal in the world, of course. and the 63 that you see on the bottle, the there's are 36 hand selected sapphires. Oh my gosh! 
Okay. How much money is that going to cost? Well, you? there's there's different versions. Well, of look this. at that. Bottles are badass. Those oh, are the those bottles. Are cool. So they have the they have the silver they have the bronze, silver, gold, the ruby, and the sapphire. Like Shanghai buildings or something. Yes, that it's definitely. Um, so those basically, it's a throwback to the history of the. Uh, the ru the pagoda roof of Balvini that came right. they brought over from from Japan. Oh, that, they? That's yeah. really interesting. That's really neat. Anyway, I, it's just when you look at these, click so the links. What's it provide for? the links for these guys. So right it's yeah, any one of these. What's the MSRP on that? It's different. If you want to get the silver version, it's twenty six thousand, I think. No, I want the. I want Xander the, gonna get a. I want textiles. the sapphire. <laughs> right. It, no, no, no. It's the sa sapphire comes in a silver bottle lid. It comes. There's three different. Go to the very first article, Drew, and you'll see um, right here. You scroll down. It tells you. There's. Um, keep scrolling down. It tells you that's the bottle. It keeps tell. It tells you there's different bottlings of it. There's a limited edition silver bottling of it, and there are 180 bottles of those at 23,000 pounds. There, oh scroll God. up, scroll up. There are the six, 63 Ooh. bottles of the 1.5 liter well, Magnum you might as well buy the Gold, 1 liter. which is 50,000, or scroll down and drop another 6,000 pounds and get the 1.5 Magnum, which is only five, 45 bottles produced. It's it's a little crazy. So, so these are definitely collectors. Gold-plated collars. Unless yeah. it hits this bar. Yeah. I, we're you know who's opening, opening this bottle? If, if any of you want to buy us a bottle of review, we'll open that thing, I promise you. <laughs> and we'll, uh, actually, we'll actually send you a sample of it. It's, a big it, sample of it's it. It's really fun to see this kind of stuff hit the market, right? I mean, because you, you look in... So Glenn Farkless, they've got some old bottles. Yeah. Dude, they've got some family well, clearly, casts. Clearly, yeah. 63 year old. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. But um, the, the other article... I'll go to the comments real quick. I want to see if anybody has anything to say. Above 40 ABV for 63 years. You got to nurse that thing, man. So, is there anybody a, a cold in the finger. cold finger? <laughs> <laughs> I see Lee's on. Hi, Lee. For, for those of you who um, don't know what cold fingering is, nobody, nobody's Be careful in, oh, wait, looking that up. Wait, Malti Alti says you were going to, uh, you was, you were at Glen Farkless last August and you got to try a 61 year old first fill sherry butt straight no, from the cat. What? what? That seems That's like a good nuts. memory right there, man. It had to be delicious. Yeah, kill me now. I'm Did ready. they let you pick the cask up and just Let's pour it in your mouth? Quick, that's what so I'm the last about. one was is a, another <laughs> article from Forbes, and it's talking about so this this <laughs> coming, COVID. Excuse, uh oh, we're down with the vid. <laughs> I'm, I'm covered. I covered. <laughs> so there's this company out there. They make the, these bottlings called Last Drops. Um, yeah, it was created awesome. by two uh, two guys that have been in the industry for years and years and years. Unfortunately. Um, Tom Jago, if I'm pronouncing our Jago, he's now passed on in 2018, didn't get to see this, but this particular bottling is a 50-year-old Glen Rothis that they're Ooh. bottling. Um, and I think it's gonna hit the market for 6,500 bucks or something like that. Hey, that's which, more in our price range. If you think about it, guys, for a 50-year-old, the fact that it's not bottled under the distillery label well, last drop is a good it's concept. only it's only going for sixty five hundred bucks. Gas? It's crazy. No. Yeah, so this company they go out and they they basically do their detective work and find old lost casks from distilleries, and then bottle them when they think they're ready to, I feel to go. Like Dave Chappelle talking about this. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> for real, a fifty year old Rothus. I mean, for sixty five hundred bucks is not bad. 50 no, year old. Not. I was told I'd get my check I'm talking to you all today. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but I, it's, you know, that's what's going on in, in the wide world of Scotch news anyway. But um, oh. what else do you guys want to see? What else do you guys want to talk about? We've got some things coming up in the future. Uh, I need to get my butt in gear and, and get my homework done. We've got uh, a fun thing coming up with some um, ambassadors. Uh, oh, great. Uh, got, i got to get it lined up, got to get it worked out. But you guys are going to have a real good time. Uh, it's going to be fun. Is the Hollywood ambassadors. Squares? Almost. All right. All right. Well, and I've been trying to get Drew to yeah. record a Scotch or Dr. Scotch episode. He won't do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cold blooded. Cold blooded. Someone's getting ready to get we've got, out. Um, we've got actually our our, our um, Scotch for Dummies, Glenn, you know, 
Johnny Walker for Dummies, McCallum for Dummies. Well, we got Glenn Fiddick for Dummies. We're getting ready to shoot. The, those are all still very popular for us. Yep. So I think we got those to shoot too, as we well. We got for Dummies. We got Balvinis to do. We could do a Balvinis for Dummies as well. Um, so the art bag was just put out, right? And then yep. we've got some some bottles that we want to review that are actually I'm pretty excited about. I mean, I don't necessarily think I would have been excited about a Doers, uh, you know, six months ago. But honestly, guys, Doers do just work. <laughs> kicked the crap out of the whiskey well, com competition. And after that, Bells that we had, and, and the, right. Uh, so we've got an old, uh, a decent Doers that I'm excited about putting out, and uh, we've got some good reviews coming. And uh, we're getting ready to do our Patreon uh, whiskey swap too. Yes, the Patreon oh, whiskey swap. Excellent. Which I'm excited about. There's a lot of good things coming good out. So. Coming out. Keep tuned. I want to say a special shout out and thank you to all the patrons. We've had a couple of new ones, I, and I appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys so much, especially in this time when things are so messed up and we don't yep. know what's happening tomorrow. Um, but thank you to the patrons. Uh, what else do we want to say, guys? I think that's it. We got the after show Salange. coming up. Yep. So, I, uh, so the uh, patron show for the yep. the uh, after show for the patrons. Um, it's good to see the other whiskey tubers out there. Thanks for joining, Scott. It's good to see you, brother. Thank you, um, podcasters. We'll see you guys Eric next week. Eric was on, too. Eric yep. was on. Yeah, is he still on? Eric, happy birthday, by the way. There you go. <laughs> I think there I missed go. that. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thanks, everyone, at home. Thanks to the podcasters. Guys, I love you. Happy Thursday. Closing with the 12th single barrel.